big shift in weather for this weekend, rain and thunderstorms and also that wind's back and all, but we've always got something to do here. And one of them things is another potato container. I've noticed in that container garden that we've got one of those wooden ones with second earlies in and the tops of those plants are all starting to die back. Plus we have had quite a lot of rain. For second earlies approaching mid-August I need to try and get as many of those emptied. And if I get a lot of potatoes, too many to use in a couple of weeks, I know I've also got that option of freezing them, so that's not a problem. So we'll grab another container, we'll get it emptied and we'll see what we got from this one. I don't think we stand a chance of beating that last one, £7.2 of potatoes, but we'll get something. And talking of potatoes, we recently set up a big container and put a couple of small potatoes in there, ones that we'd saved from a previous harvest. Because the idea is, we're trying to grow some Christmas potatoes. And we've got a little bit of progress on that container. And I'll show you what it is. So this is that container. And if you look there, you can see that the plant's starting to break through the surface. It is a bit dry at the moment, but that's not a problem. I'm pretty sure somewhere there'll be another one wanting to break through. But in its own time, we'll leave that be. But for the moment, we have got a bit of progress. So at least we've got a potato plant on its way out. Whether we get any potatoes from that container by Christmas, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, let's go and grab that container from that container garden, get it emptied and see what we get from this one. We've got a couple of containers of potatoes in this container garden. That one hasn't got much foliage left on top. So I think we'll have a look, see what's in that second early container. This is that potato plant, and it is a second early. As I said, there's not a lot of foliage left on top of it. But what bit there is, we'll cut away. It's not going to do anything now. There's a lot of weeds in this. Get a tip, see if we get out. <laughs> Again, first impressions lots of wood lice, and I don't see any potatoes at the moment either. Let's have a dig, see what there is. Nothing impressive at the moment. That one's not too bad. We seem to be getting a lot of small potatoes this year. Apart from that last harvest, of course, that was pretty good. I just took that root part away and there were a seed potato in that. Not a lot of road else in this bit. This could be a little disappointing. That's not a bad one. Another small one. There we go, there's a few more. That's a bit better, isn't it? Root with another seed potato. I've got a funny feeling there isn't anything else in here, which is not very good. It doesn't look like there's anything else. This could be another pretty poor one, a couple of babby ones. through one last go. Another small one. It 
looks like that's it. Well, not as good as I was hoping for, obviously. We got a few potatoes out of there. Enough for a meal, but that's about it. So we've had quite a lot of ups and downs with these potato plants since we started emptying them. We've had them that's been just under a pound and then we've had averages a two to three pound. We then got that 42 litre container and we got 7.2 pound out of that. But now we've gone back to these two foot containers which do hold a fair amount of compost. We're getting an handful of potatoes again. But you could also see that the foliage on top wasn't very good. And I don't think that particular container's had very much foliage on it from the beginning. But we're grateful for what we get. We've got at least a meal there for two. And we've still got quite a few more containers to go at. We'll recycle that compost, use it for something else next year. At the moment, I'm keeping them in containers and putting them under shelter so they're out at rain. It gives them a chance to dry out. And we'll store it until we need it. I did notice something else in that container garden that I'm not very happy about but there's also nothing I can do about it and it's concerning that trough we've got with all those peppers in but also a container that's completely separate from that that's also got the same problem I'll just show you what's happening that's that trough we've been growing all these peppers in and we've got peppers on it that's not a bad size all trying to ripen as well they're nice and firm that is a really big one and again nice and firm no damage but as we move down you might notice that these haven't got peppers on anymore and that's why I noticed this morning they started rotting something has bored its way inside and basically ruined these peppers but I also noticed on this container that we did have in greenhouse originally that's got one pepper on it but something's got to that as well you can see where something's chewed its way inside that pepper so that's another one that's no good on upside we have got the right raspberry so we'll take that while we're here so that's a shame that that's happened and it's happened to three of them so far that being the latest one that was the only one on that plant in that container and that's had it this one was just starting to ripen but it's been devastated and then there's that one completely ruined three good sized peppers and obviously something's eaten its way inside these peppers and then stayed in there until the old things basically rotted. But not to be put off by things that don't quite work out as they should do, because they won't. As long as you're gardening, you're always going to have to take the ups with the downs. And that's all we can do, especially when we have years like we've just had. Not to be beat, we've got a few nice potatoes, but we'll probably have of a weekend. And then we've got this really nice red raspberry. So that's two against one. So I'm not disheartened. We've got more peppers growing in different places. We've got loads in greenhouse. We've got a few more containers and we'll see how they get on. But between now and then, we'll take what we've got and be happy with it. And then we'll see what we're gonna do this afternoon. And if you want to see what we're gonna do this afternoon, please hit that subscribe button. Press that notifications bell and I'll see you then. Take care.